Hi there, I'm gonna show you something really interesting. Let's take a dab. Nice work. Now, that dad seems a bit lonely to me. Let's add a mom. Marvelous. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. When moms and dads have sex, they may produce offspring. You already know how plants produce offspring. So, how do mammals do it? Wait, I got it! Meiosis! Meiosis is quite similar to mitosis, only it kinda happens twice. Let me show you. Meiosis starts the same way as mitosis, with the inner phase, during which the chromosomes and centrioles replicate themselves. And now, the real fun begins! Meiosis occurs in two parts, which are simply called meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Each one of them has its own prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. So far, not that much different from mitosis, right? Let's start with prophase 1. The chromatids have duplicated to sister chromatids and attached themselves with the centromere to form a homologous chromosome. This newly created homologous chromosome grabs their identical duplicate friend and starts lining up on the spindle fibers. But, since they're so close, they can't help but exchange some information between themselves or, in biological terms, exchange sections of DNA. This is called crossing over. Now that we're done with that, we move on to metaphase 1. The homologous chromosomes line up in pairs in the middle of the cell and attach themselves to the centrioles in either end of the cell. And in anaphase 1, they're pulled apart in half, each homologous chromosome getting to one side of the cell. In the final stage of the first round, telophase 1, the nuclear membrane around each end of the cell reforms. Not only that, but the nuclei then move away from one another, causing the cell to split into two new cells. That process is called cytokinesis. Phew, we're finally done with meiosis 1. But look, we already got two new cells formed. Isn't that amazing? Let's now quickly move on to meiosis 2. There is not much difference from meiosis 1, but this time we're not duplicating, only dividing. Prophase 2 starts with the chromosomes condensing again and the centrioles going back to their place. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes align and connect to the centrioles via the spindle fibers again. When they're pulled apart in anaphase 2, however, they're ripped off from one another and are now just single, separate chromosomes. Kinda sad, but that's life. The nucleus membrane forms again, the cell membrane forms again in cytokinesis and we have quadrupled ourselves from 1 to 4 without losing any DNA material. And that's how nature does it. I hope you enjoyed this video on meiosis. If you did, please consider giving me a good grade because those bracelets were actually pretty hard to film because my cat tried to eat them while I was filming them. And yeah, fun stuff. Okay, that's it for now. See you later.